Hey there, this is Dr. Mort Orman, and um, we're talking this week about summer stress, which, uh, as I admitted in an earlier video, was something I was not really familiar with, at least the term, until very recently. But once I heard it, I had to acknowledge that, yes, uh, there probably is such a thing as summer stress, because there are a lot of changes that occur during the summertime uh, in many areas of the world. And particularly, uh, the area I want to focus on today is if you have kids who are in school, whether they're young kids in school or maybe uh, older children who are in college and, and coming home for the summer, uh, there are significant changes in your routine and in their routine and your family's routine that for many people can be stressful. So during the school year, uh, things there is a certain pattern of behavior that's established, certain routines that are established. You, your kids are in school most of the day. You kind of know where they are. You know they're being looked after and uh, then your, you have your activities that uh, uh, coordinate around that schedule. And then um, when school's let out for the summer, kids are home. They, uh, they may or may not have supervision if you're working. They um, certainly can be out and about, and uh, have, they have less structure in their lives, so they have more free time on their hands and uh, more possibilities of getting into trouble or mischief. Um, their, their schedule is not as regimented uh, through the daytime and also in the evening when they may be doing homework. So the whole schedule situation changes, and this change can be uh, stressful for certain families. It, it can produce anxiety. You know, you don't know where your kids are during the day, what they're doing, what they're getting into. Um, there, there may be a whole host of problems that occur, and, and, and stress is basically uh, just problems. So uh, any specific problem like this can be something that we either deal with well or we don't deal with well. And here again, one of my points this week is to emphasize how reading a magazine article about how to deal with summer stress or getting some tips on how to deal with uh, the stress of kids being home during the summer is probably not going to be very helpful because your situation is going to be somewhat unique, most likely. Um, the solution to your problem are going to be different than some standard, you know, canned approach that may work for a few people but mostly not for others. So it's like any problem with stress. What you have to do is you have to understand exactly what the problem is. You have to define it accurately. Then you have to get down to the causes, the root causes of why that's a problem for you. And then you have to deal with those causes effectively. So you have to bring your natural powers as a human being uh, into play. So your natural creativity, your can-do attitude, your uh, problem-solving abilities, uh, all those things, your ability to focus, your ability to communicate and negotiate and work out things, you have to bring all those uh, powers that you have as a human being into the equation to deal with any specific problems you have. It's the same for any type of stress that we experience, not just summer stress. So you can't have, you, you can't expect to be able to deal with, uh, if these problems are stressful for you, you can't expect to be able to deal with these well with a negative attitude where, oh, woe is me, or gee, nothing can be done about this. It's kind of, you know, I'm at the mercy of uh, my kid's behavior and, and I, I, it's just beyond my control. You, any of those kind of negative frameworks or attitudes will, will keep you from utilizing the powers that you have as a human being to take any problem in your life, identify it, define it correctly, deal with its causes, and, and find find creative solutions, find solutions that work for you. And no magazine article or newspaper article or five minute media spot on summer stress is really going to fit the bill. You're gonna to have to look at things more deeply. Sometimes you may have to get help in, in figuring out how to deal with these problems creatively or understanding what the causes are. And that's available today as well. That's one of the things I do. Other people can do that as well. So the point is any type of stress, any type of summer stress, you can deal with it, you can make it go away, you can lessen it significantly. You just have to be willing to go after the problems individually and deal with them effectively. So we'll look at another aspect of uh, summer stress tomorrow and show how the same basic uh, philosophy and, and methodology can be used to deal with that set of problems as well. Talk to you next time.